Okay, so I think we'll start now. Thank you all for joining. Okay, so uh, if possible, please do keep your videos on so that it will look more interactive. So please do turn on your videos if at all it's possible. Okay, so le let us just remind us to why we have these meetings. What is the purpose of B BGSM? The idea is that we come together, we discuss with each other, we share ideas and we challenge each other to grow our businesses by 10x. That's the main reason why we keep meeting every week on Wednesdays. And uh, these BGSM meetings are meant for Pathfinder stage of business. You know, every business goes through different stages. So if someone is on a Pathfinder, that is they have come out of a very basic struggle and they are trying to find a path of growth, how to grow, which area to pick up, which products and services to focus on. So that is the area that we focus on mainly. Most of our topics are on that area. And uh, this particular uh, you know, series started uh, close to five years back when uh, three of us, a couple of friends and me together, we went on a trek. And during the trek, we asked questions to each other, answered for almost two to three hours. And that is what uh, you know coined the idea of, okay, why don't we do regular meetings like this so that we share our ideas with each other and then we try to use that uh, to help ourselves in growing our businesses. So that's how it all started. And we have a portal called bacommunity.me, uh, which we will be restarting it soon. The portal is still there. And we also have a tool where we can uh, monitor our goals, track our goals and see whether we are uh, improving in whatever areas we are trying to you know, uh, become better at. So that is also available. Okay, so today we are once again focusing on systems, uh, but however, it covers every single area uh, of our business, what the topic that we are covering here, because uh, we are speaking about uh, chat GPT and uh, artificial intelligence and all that. It, it covers many areas of, of uh, who we are and what we do. Uh, we do have a WhatsApp group where you can also post, uh, you know, any questions or or promote your business. You can promote your business or any activities. So if you're in in a group where it is only admin only posting, please let me know. I will add you into the other group where you can also post. So please do let me know. And uh, today's topic is ChatGPT as genie in business. So the idea behind the topic is, um, can we use ChatGPT to uh, help? Our business. We've already had two sessions before which spoke about ChatGPT and generative AI. So this is kind of a you know a further to that a real uh, time application of how 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 to do it. Uh, much more to do with uh, hands on experience on how to use ChatGPT and all those kind of things. So that's what we will be covering. The format is I will share initially and then it will be open for discussion where you can also add some points. You can ask questions and we'll have discussions. And then towards the ending, we'll have some closing talk also. Okay, first of all, what is ChatGPT in layman terms? Okay, as human beings, we read on an average 500 to 1000 books in a lifetime. Typical. Okay, some of us read much more, some of us read less. Okay, so this is a typical count. Whereas ChatGPT reads millions of books to get whatever information it needs. Okay, so that's just a comparison between what we do in our lifetime and what ChatGPT or any other AI does. Okay, millions of books. So what can you compare ChatGPT with? You know, is there any comparison? You know, uh, Henry Ford, I think the book is uh, built to last, I think. So I'm not sure which book it is, but in one of the books, he says, uh, uh, during a libel trial 19, in 1919, when asked a series of questions to demonstrate his knowledge of history and general information, Ford responded, if I should really want to answer any of the foolish questions you have just asked me, let me remind you that I have a row of electric push buttons on my desk. And by pushing the right button, I can summon to my aid men who can answer any question I desire to ask concerning the business to which I am devoting most of my efforts. Now, will you kindly tell me why I should clutter my, up my mind with general knowledge for the purpose of being able to answer questions when I have men around me who can supply any knowledge I require. So this is the kind, this is what we can compare chat GPT with right now. Okay, so a hundred years back, uh, Ford, Henry Ford had a very uh, genius people surrounded, uh, you know, with him who, who were able to answer specific questions for him. Whereas now we have chat GPT with whom we can ask questions and get answers, any kind of questions that we want to. Okay. 
how to access chat gpt i am sure almost all of you must be doing it but just for the sake of a slide i have put few information here you can go to chatgpt.com just click on sign up you can sign up with your google it's it's a free account you also have a mobile app so you can download chat gpt in your mobile app so be be just careful that it is chat gpt because there are many other similar looking apps that are there there are other uh, ai related apps also which are free you have cloud ai you have perplex uh, perplexity ai you have gemini which is from google you have meta ai which is from facebook you also have an offline version i don't know how many of you are aware there is a, a gpt called freedom gpt you can actually download the entire um, chat gpt you know the content the entire research content onto your laptop and use it offline without any internet that is also that is also available okay only thing is it, it slows down the computer because i tried it a few months back but it re it requires heavy resources a lot of ram and uh, you know processing speed so if your laptop is the latest maybe it will work well okay can we trust chat gpt that's a question that many people ask i would say to the extent that we can trust education you know basically what we do is we keep we go through an education process for which which goes up to 15 20 years and all that so if we can trust education we can trust chat gpt uh, to the extent that we can trust other people you know when you ask someone to give you an opinion we should always understand that that opinion comes from that person's bias knowledge experience to the same extent chat gpt also has bias knowledge experience based on the way it has been trained and to the extent that you can trust books you know, certain information in some books might need not be correct. They might be wrong. You know, we, we, not all books are truth. Okay, so uh, chat GPT also can make mistakes. But based on what the way it has been trained, you can test it out and see whether how good it is. Okay, can chat GPT make mistakes? Yes, similar to humans and books. Just like human beings, all of us, you and me, we make mistakes the same way chat GPT also can make mistakes. Now I have written few use cases, uh, use cases for personal development. Once you've signed into ChatGPT, you can write questions like this. I've just given few random questions here. For example, for my physical condition, uh, and you can explain what is your physical condition. What should I, what should be my weight reduction plan if I want to reduce from so-and-so weight to so-and-so weight in one year? And ChatGPT will actually give you a step-by-step -step process for your weight reduction plan. Now, you might say it's not a doctor, so how can I trust it? But it basically based its research on uh, hundreds and thousands of books on you know weight reduction and all that. I want to improve in marketing. What are the top 10 books you, you recommend for me? And it will actually recommend 10 books that you can read for marketing. I want to construct a home. How do I plan entire process? Give me complete stage by stage, uh, stage, sorry, stage details. What questions should I ask a contractor to ensure that the contractor is not cheating me? So you can ask, actually put this prompt in chat GPT and it will give you exactly what questions you can ask, what you can monitor and all that. The same way, there are any questions that you can ask and get an answer. Let me move on to content marketing. So I want to create content marketing for so-and-so product or service. It could be, for example, software. It could be for, uh, uh, let's say, uh, financial products. It could be for project management, anything. And then you can ask it, please give me 100 content ideas. And it will list you 100 content ideas that you can use for creating content. Okay. So, uh, and let's say, for example, I want to create short videos on so-and-so content. Please give me 50 ideas with, with short script on each. So it will give you ideas and also the script for each of them. Okay. So th then few other questions also, maybe you can read them or watch them in the video and, and go through it. Okay. Now use cases for paid version of API integrations. You can also get a paid version of chat GPT API where you can get things like data analysis, reporting, basic data analysis and reporting is also available in free version, but you can get advanced in, in, uh, from the paid version. Then employee training and development, you can use chat GPT for employee training and development where the employees can ask specific questions and get specific answers and customer uh, enhancing customer experience. Customers can in interact with chat GPT uh, through your portal or through your, uh, um, you know, interface and they can get answers. They can, they will feel as if they are literally speaking to human beings, just like we saw, um, you know, Dinesh, uh, uh, Mr. Dinesh Abnani using his own chat GPT to give guidance on business coaching, something like that. All that can be done through paid. Okay, now few real-time uh, use cases, examples from my chat GPT. 
So I'll just show you my chat GPT, which I use for, you know, uh, doing various uh, research and asking questions and all. I'm literally showing you what I do. So I wanted to ha get ideas from chat GPT on today's presentation. So I, I just uh, typed this particular prompt. I want to give a presentation to a group of entrepreneurs on how they can use chat GPT in various scenarios for business success. Please outline the presentation with content. And it has given me a huge content. Okay. I have picked up around three to four ideas in this. Okay. And exactly how to prepare and all that. Then even for the quote that I made today about uh, Henry Ford telling that I actually wrote this, this particular uh, prompt. Henry Ford quote in courtroom where he says about pressing a switch and an expert appears because I did not know what that quote was. I don't remember which book it was. So the only way to search was by telling something to chat GPT. Now I could have typed this in Google also or any other search engine, but this would not have been my answer. You know, I would have had to go there and search in, you know, a little more in detail. Uh, then uh, for to get that 500 to 1000 books that I wrote in the starting and, and, and that chat GPT has read millions of books. I actually got that from chat GPT only. I wrote how many books does a typical human being read? And it gave me an answer. Okay. Around 700 books. And then I said, how many books have you been trained on? It gave me some abstract answer. And then I asked it specifically, you tell me the count and then give me an approximate number. And finally it said potentially million, millions of books. So this is how I got the answer from ChatGPT. Now there are many other things like business development update. I, I, if I want some answers on business development, I want uh, some you know spiritual aspects that I wanted to research. I, I uh, Bible words and strength that comes from the Lord. You know something that like that I research on ChatGPT. And few things like you know I was talking to my son recently on how he should prepare for his IIT entrance. And what he should aim at. Because he says, I want to get into computer science engineering in IIT Bombay. I said, then you should aim very high. So, but he was not agreeing on what, how he should prepare and how he should get answers. So, we both sat together in front of the computer and I wrote this particular chat GPT prompt. What All India rank in JE advance should I get to get admission into CSC in IIT Bombay? And it gave a very clear answer. And then... I asked another prompt, how much marks should we get to get All India rank of 60 in general category? And it gave a specific answer. And this was convincing enough for him to say, okay, I think then I should prepare like this or like that. So th you are, these are cases in, you know, for which you can actually use uh, chat GPT. Okay, now coming back to the point here, uh, I will now create a prompt and uh, get an answer from uh, chat GPT. If uh, some of you uh, would like to see this, Forbes, uh, you know, regularly uh, creates articles on ChatGPT. So if any of you are interested, you can actually uh, just search for Forbes ChatGPT prompts and you'll have a list of prompts. In fact, I see almost one new prompt article every single day. So I just typed this and I saw one of the prompt, which, I, which was quite interesting for me. For example, five ChatGPT prompts to apply Steve Jobs wisdom to your business. Okay, so I, I'm doing this for the first time. I have myself not tried it. So I'm just opening this particular article. And basically what you will have here is um, a, a sentence which you can apply into chat GPT by modifying few of the items which is applicable for your business and you can get an answer. That is what basically uh, prompt means. Okay. So here it says, be more Steve Jobs in your business. Chat GPT prompts to transform based on his principles. So use the simple stick. So it's, it says, when anything started to seem complex, Steve, Steve Jobs would hit the simple stick. Okay. So now let us see the, the uh, chat GPT prompt. This is the chat GPT prompt here. Acting as a business coach, all this thing. Okay. Encourage me to question every aspect of my suffer, struggle, um till here this is the entire chat gpt prompt okay uh, so let, let i'll just show you how it works so just co copy the prompt go to chat gpt okay new prompt and just paste the prompt there okay so now what happens is chat gpt basically gives an answer exactly the way the prompt has been written okay so now it is basically asking me a question First, could you please describe your core business offer in one or two sentences? What is the primary product or service you provide? For example, we do custom software. Okay. I'm just going to write that. I'm not going to write more than that. So let us see. Custom software. Now, you, uh, now can you tell me what specific problems or needs your custom software solution address for your clients? 
now let us say uh, productivity increase okay i'm just writing like this this is i'm doing for this for the first time understood your custom software aims to increase productivity can you break down the main features or functionality that your software includes to achieve this productivity uh, one one of them could be automated reports um, or the other one could be um, uh, automated alerts okay and uh, scheduling all this you know something like that i'm just writing few examples here got it automated reports alert, alert scheduling let's dig a dig deeper see now what chat gpt is doing is it is basically using this particular prompt here the way steve jobs would have you know uh, drilled down into things and keep it simple kind of an approach and it is helping me to identify more and more about what i can do with my business so that is how you can use chat gpt and help you uh, you know uh, for uh, increasing your uh, uh, effectiveness in business increasing your business so now finally i'll also show one more demo on microsoft copilot dally okay so um, i'm sure some of you would have definitely used uh, yeah. dally or copilot to create your images so i use it using microsoft edge browser on the right side you see uh, image creator from designer so i use it uh, with this so you can create any image that you want so I'll just give a prompt right now and let's see how it creates. Okay. Show me uh, 10 professionals uh, like doctor, lawyer, um, let's say engineer, etc. Uh, standing in, in, one, in one line with, a, let's say, a busy street background or let me say busy japan street japanese street background okay so i'm giving a prompt like this to chat gpt so now i'm not chat gpt this is of course the dali version of chat gpt through uh, copilot microsoft designer so you can write whatever you want whatever image whatever you want to generate you can write it over here and uh, you know the the prompt will actually generate the image that you need so i just came up with this so you can see the various uh, images that it has created so it has created uh, an image and it has brought in Japanese background, if you can see. Okay, so this is how you can use uh, chat GPT. Uh, and that's my presentation. Anyone has anything to contribute or to ask any questions? Anyone would like to add anything to whatever was told? Anything that you do differently, which can add. Thank you. Thank you, Sangeet. I have not been using it at all, actually. So I'm, for me, it's all new. Yeah, I, I understand. You know, I'm, I'm, some of us have not started using it. So I would strongly recommend just go to chatgpt.com. And uh, even in fact, chat, chat GPT is allowing to write some prompts even without signing in. Uh, only disadvantage is you will not be able to look at history. So you just go to chatgp.com, start typing anything about your business or anything at all. Anyone yeah, else I has tried anything? That. Yeah. Yeah, just now. yeah. Anyone has anything to add? Okay, so we have Mayan casting. Um, can we use it for digital marketing? Any tools in particular? Uh, uh, yeah, so Mayan one is generating content uh, you can use it uh, really well any kind of content you need for your content marketing you can generate ideas for contents you can take an idea and ask it to generate content the entire content will be generated you can tell in what language to be it to you want whether simple or professional all that now if you ask me are there tools yeah there are paid tools available for uh, uh, you know doing digital marketing through ai uh, so uh, i have not used them but definitely there are because we, I keep seeing ads uh, on uh, using uh, uh, ready uh, you know, automated marketing tools for with AI and all that. I have seen that. Yes, there are they are available. Yes. Anyone has anything to add to what was told? Like if you have used. Hi, good evening. This is Devi. Yeah. Hi. Good evening. Yeah. Uh, um, 
i am using it but you know i am not using chat gpt exactly but i am using you know microsoft copilot ah uh, and yeah. it is giving in tamil language telugu whatever the language you know you ask you know it is uh, giving an idea and uh, you know solution absolutely yeah. but uh, for uh, chat gpt um, uh, i have to download uh, application from um, play store or I, i have to use only in uh, web you just have to go to uh, web and say chatgpt.com and you get chatgpt this is one way of okay. accessing chatgpt another one is a mobile app you can just go to play store download chatgpt app okay that's it yeah okay thanks but you know nowadays in every uh, one hour you know even in whatsapp also you know we can, we have assistant yes meta ai is there Yeah. yeah yeah ai is there yeah. see all these are you know one uh, application or are different different tools and uh, you know chat gpt is what is used as a backend for copilot meta okay. meta ai is completely different developed by uh, you know that facebook company meta it's a, it's a totally different product and okay. each of the other ones are also different products like the list that i had shown here Okay. Uh, they are all different products. This uh, cloud per uh, perplexity, Gemini, Meta AI, Freedom. All these are different products. Different companies oh. have come out with different, and there are many more. If you Google and say, "Show me a list of uh, uh, generative AI or Chat GPT alternatives," you'll get a very big list. These are the popular mm-hmm. ones. Oh, I see. Today I came to know many other, you know, application. but i generally you know use either chat gpt or copilot copilot but i find copilot is more comfortable than chat gpt yeah so copilot they have integrated the uh, you know it with the entire microsoft's uh, uh, what do you say products so if you are working in in the microsoft products then copilot works really well Yes, because uh, ma- ma- maybe I don't know, but I am very comfortable in Copilot rather, you know, in your application. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, so, Thomas. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Anand. You, you were asking I... what about language. Uh, so, what what is your mother tongue, uh, Mr. Anand? Yeah, Tamil. Okay. So let let me say uh, uh, translate this to Tamil. can you translate uh, english to tamil will it be good okay so this is what i'm typing so this is what has come out in ta- tamil i cannot read tamil so i have typed it so 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 is this good sir anand sir uh, yes it's perfect yeah yeah so it, it can yes, translate it's perfect yeah. yeah it's accurate yeah at least i would say 90 95% accurate yeah so it can translate among all the leading languages in the world they they have trained it like that yeah anyone else has anything uh... i had an input ah yeah so th- this is kind kind of interesting ah. so what i did was i just uh, put in my mbti profile my own mbti profile and uh, uh clifton strength that we had done sometimes back if you remember uh, right finder, and i yeah. just said ke uh, i just said ke what would be the ideal workflow for this kind of a person and uh-huh. it created a very clear cut uh, suggestions and where a person can experience pitfalls what kind of work environment to create for yourself things like that so it, it was really comprehensive amazing you did it now or uh, you did it earlier i did it earlier i'll send you the uh, prompt that i had created created okay excellent excellent so sure. thank you thank you very much anyone else has any questions or anything to add or any other business topic also even if it's not uh, something to do with chat gpt or any other business topic also we can discuss a couple of minutes if you have anything to ask uh, hello bro uh, yeah. good evening good evening everyone i mean uh, uh, i joined a little bit late uh, i missed the first part but anyway overall uh, it was a good uh, session coverage i mean overall basically 
the potential of using these tools is like immense. We yeah. we can't even comprehend what all it can do. Only thing is we have to apply our mind around it in terms of uh, using it. You know, using it as a uh, great tool. Hmm. Uh, in fact, for me, it is like overwhelming. <laughs> That's an what all it is like too much of things available to do you know it's like now i'm actually more confused <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> yeah. anyway so it's good it's like a uh, lot of things can be eased out and you know something that we it is like uh, what do you call blind spot for us it can bring it to light you know like yes. something we generally don't think about it can it can give a you know good suggestion in those areas and things like suppose you are planning something you are traveling something whatever you know it could be anything and everything i think it uh, it is a good assistant in terms of uh, giving us good inputs good ideas good suggestions and then it is depends on us how we want to use it i agree yeah anyone else has any points okay so i think we'll move on so thank you all for uh, attending and please do invite your friends to join our group uh, bgsm group so that we can have more contributions we can network with each other better grow our business and if you would like to share something you know which which is uh, some something that you know and you would like to help all of us please let me know you can take one of these sessions like we've had many speakers before so please let me know if you have anything that you would like to share with us and there are other support systems also. Uh, so please do let me know if you're interested in those. These are books that I recommend uh, if you were, if you are a startup and you, you're trying to scale up your business. These are the books that I would recommend that you must read. And these are three books that will give you an idea how large corporates have you know flourished over a period of last 100 years. How did they work and all that. Very good three books. And uh, please keep posting in the group, in the WhatsApp group that is there and uh, keep promoting your business, post any questions, any of us can answer that and we let's all learn together and grow. So that's it for today. Uh, thank you very much for attending. Uh, I hope that, that this was a helpful session uh, for all of you. Thank you. Uh, good night and have a great week ahead. Thank you.